think realistically 2018 is going to reduce compared to 2017. My own opinion is that it would be something in the order of 5 to 6% down compared to 2017. So we'd be looking at something like uh, in the region of 2.4 million vehicles. It's a realistic number, it's a good number. I don't think we should get too carried away by the final number. It's a case of we have up years and down years and 2018 is likely to be a down compared to the highs of 16, 17. 2018 is a challenging year for the car industry. Um, on the new side, um, we're seeing headwinds with Brexit uh, and disposable income for the consumer. So I see a reduction this year of around five to six percent. Definitely see a decline like this year. I personally think three percent drop, obviously not as much as this year. Um, I think the reason this year was such a big drop was because obviously 2016 was record like breaking numbers. Unfortunately, I do predict that the uh, certainly the registration tally for, for new cars will decline again. Uh, I don't think it will be like the 5.6% that we've seen um, throughout 2017. I think it will be nearer kind of 3%. In the used car market, we have those same headwinds, but as perhaps people pull away from new car and look at used car, hopefully with the increased volumes that we're likely to see, this will be set by perhaps some strong demand and will keep the equilibrium and prices at a stable footing. The used market is more dictated to by the numbers in prior years and there, there is potential for more used cars to be available in 2018. But I think we are entering a period of time of the used car being king more than the new car. So I think demand from the trade will generally be driven by the used vehicles and the profitability from those used vehicles. So I think we're into a time where values could again remain pretty strong. I believe that diesel is going to still take a decline. Um, I don't think it's going to be as much, um, but I still do definitely think it will decline compared to petrol. I think obviously it's been really demonised in the press as well about diesel and I think people need to be properly educated because obviously especially newer diesels can actually be cleaner than petrol. One of the interesting cars this year will be Jaguar I-Pace. Although it's not a volume car, it'll be interesting to see just how well that does. That will be taking on the likes of Tesla Model S. There are also a lot of plug-in hybrid versions of vehicles coming through, and I expect that to keep growing this year. All announcements, hybrids, mild hybrids, full electrification into their vehicle ranges.